welcome back everybody to Nicky Baron to Space Engineers. If you have noticed, I haven't uploaded yesterday all no video because I hadn't that much time. Or better to say, on the morning I had a, a meeting with a customer and normally I'm sleeping longer but I'm also working into the night and this was just completely... I was just extreme exhaust, uh, exhausted. Um, on the end of the day, I can't... and I haven't... I don't know, um, I have no recorded uh, video list, anyway. And also, I will make a, a, twi a Twitch stream, or make three streams more. I haven't made one yet, but I also bought me a new microphone, and a, a sound mixer, and a compressor, and uh, other things, so I can make a nice setup, and also uh, I can speak maybe no, not I'm speaking better, but the voice would be better. And also for games. And on Twitch, I will not only stream um, Space Engineers, I'm also sp will stream other games like Battlefield 1, because I'm a very big Battlefield fan. Um, I haven't played it Battlefield for like you now uh, half a year or so, because I played it too much and then I just. Uh, made a break from that game, but now Battlefield 1 is coming. I'm really hyped for that game. I love that theme. It's themed in uh, World War 1 because historically it's interesting for me. I'm interested in historic things and something, machines again. Anyway, and the beta is the open beta is going on and end on this month, and I will uh, make a stream on it. Um, but I hope I can stream them and learn er everything about it. Anyway, now let's go to the game, so we are not gonna annoy you uh, with that around. So, the ship today is called GSO Anubis EMK1. Maybe you noticed I had a, a similar ship for, uh, for that, but this was the C-Class and this now is the E-Class. And it's created by Mr. Bibles. And Starkiller 93041. So I'm just gonna show you the ship. Maybe you noticed the shape, it looks different like the C class, but this is not an E class. And from the inside, it's also very nice. Just gonna show you now the outside. I'm gonna turn my light on. Maybe there are some dark spots so we can see everything better. I'm just parked it so the sun can shine on it so you can see everything better. Gonna fly around. Here in the front we have the bridge. Overall has a nice design to it. It's also interesting, it can fly in the atmosphere. So, just flying around. Here in the back we have the four little engines and we also can go later on to the inside. So can you also show you that. On the back we have a nice hangar also with four little ships in it. Just gonna Fly now to the other side, but it's just a, a mirror from the first that I already showed to you, just here on the dark side. Down we have just a little landing gear and also we have many, many engines on it. And I have to say, it's very fast flying. I'm gonna fly now to the back of the hangar, open it up, I'm just gonna Turn the uh, lights down, just gonna open the doors a little bit loud now. Gonna fly in and close the hangar behind me off. Just gonna close off. Here we have the little ships, also you can park two more in here. Here we have just little ships, I think these are... Oh, this is loud. These are drones, so you can fly it from the inside of the ship, so you don't really need to leave your ship. But I'm not gonna go in of that now. Here we have just a little control center we can so we can see inside here of the hangar. Also, I'm just gonna continue now. I'm gonna turn off my, en uh, my engines, my chat pack. Yes, this is what I'm gonna say. It. Close the door until it's green, and I'm gonna continue. Here we have just some servers on both of the sides. Down here we can go into the one of the engine rooms. I need to wait until the other door is closed because of the pressure. So now I'm in here. Here are the engines and I think it's not very healthy to jump from the catwalk into the engines. It doesn't really look healthy. 
but I'm gonna go around here are the main entrance also we can go down here but out down here we just can go out I'm not gonna do that now so I'm just gonna fly out because it's a little bit faster so we can here just see if everything works fine on the engine part I'm gonna fly up here so come on let me up here thank you again with the doors I have to wait until it's green so everything with the air is right in the ship on the other side we have just the same look I'm just gonna go no further than that so we can see inside of here it's just the same thing as on the other side well let's see what is up here just we need to walk up the stairs behind here just gonna open it have we here a door and also we have here just the controls over the hangar so we can see inside of the hangar looks uh, the drones are in, in nice shape or so and also if the hangar is working fine or the lights or whatever you wanna see on the side of here we can also open it just close it off just take a second so we can open the other thing here here we can go upstairs just take a while here we have the other engines on top so here just the engines in the inside if you're standing here you are getting burned not really in the game but you know what I mean here we can go outside into space but I'm not gonna do that well this is just here the I'm just gonna squeeze me through here the engine room also we have um, um, jump drive here stored the other ones are in the in the hangar bay well I'm just gonna go down now back where we came from so I can show you also the jump traps they are up here I'm just gonna wait a second gonna go through the little things here wait until it's gonna glow green so I think up there as you can see up here we have also, also uh, some jump drives well let's continue on to the ship so we have seen a little bit but here we have just a container and also the massive reactors for that ship are stored here just little guns up here so you so you're uh, safe from uh, any raiders or so and all has a nice look to it we can go full around I love the lightning uh, lightning around here we have just some li uh, little uh, living quarters with a TV up here just a controls I think for the windows so we can close them and also open them this are here uh, just doors on the side but it is a nice idea every time so here we can go up and down here are the nicely placed beds also a controller so we can control a little bench on the side well on the other side we have just the same thing but i'm gonna show you that anyway just gonna run all the way around so here we have the oh no it's not the same one i just ah. Anyway, this is here the medical bay, so we have here a medical bay, also another seat and just a control access panel for the ship. And also a window, we can, so we can look outside and see the stars passing by. I'm gonna continue now on, just I'm gonna walk now through here, just a long way. We reach a door and gonna close the door by myself. I don't know it's gonna close by itself. So here we have just two servers. I think one of them is not correctly on because it's glowing red. I don't know. I'm gonna go now. I think on the side we can go out into space. Yes, I'm not gonna do that. Well, let's continue on down here. We have some pots gonna show you that also here we have also again a server room so we can have look everything up if everything is working perfectly also a little control surface with a seat so down here we have just some stairs down here some pots where the crew can get, can be for some years on the back we are just back at the reactors so down here and I don't think we can go over Yes, we can go down here, but there's just some lights, so everything looks fine. And overall, it has a nice look to it, very clean looking. 
I'm gonna go now to the front where the bridge is. So you can also see that. I love it if you can see it. If I'm gonna go back, the lights are going out, and if I come near, the lights are going on. Well, on top of here, on the front, we have the main bridge. So we have here just a control surface, a uh, uh, LCD screen where we can see all the parts are fine or not. I think that one red part thing here is maybe the server on the back. Um, I don't know. Maybe something else. So we can see the damage here. And also here is a little fast flashing. But you also can see here the damage on the screens. All to the way back and through it. We have uh, some nice panels so the commander can see, sit here and look everything up. And the crew can control down here the ship. Also we have here a little interesting thing on a, a, a rotor with some computers on it and also here some panels so we can look it up for the pilot and the co-pilot everything looks fine also on the front as you can see we have here a massive class panel so we can see everything not that much down but up we can er uh, see everything even up there is a class panel and up there is currently the moon well i think that will be the end of the tour and I'm gonna see you now in a moment where I'm near the planet. So now I'm near the 9000 meters. The heat will rise also in just a time, just a little bit of time or meters. So now we are relatively close to the ground. As you can see, we are now near the upper atmosphere of the planet. I don't know when the heat is rising, but it should be in a second or so. Also, we are fast flying like uh, 1,400 meters, uh, no, not meters, kilometers, kilometers per hour. Now the heat is rising. And outside, we are also near the ground. I'm just gonna stay inside in the first person perspective until maybe the heat is rising that much that we can't see anything anymore so now on the outside i think at 900 degrees or so will it burns so i'm just gonna leave it like that and then i'm gonna skip out so we can see more of the ship again it's lagging or it's stopping now the heat is relatively high we can see also this uh, the, the starts to glow red on the outside of the ship who now it's r bright so i'm just gonna go um wait a second the game is ha lagging at the moment i can't do a thing not that i want to say so now i can see outside just take me a second sorry for that but as you can see, the ship is completely on fire and we are still relatively fast flying. The heat is also still rising, not that much, and I think the ship is also getting damaged. I can't see that much through the flames, just a little thing of the ship. Also, there will be an impact in a moment. Uh, the heat is now going down, interestingly. So... And it should also stop burning. Yes, now it's stopped burning. And I don't see that much of a damage. Yes, we have a little bit of fire on the back in the hangar. Also, the impact will be now. And we lost a little part on the front. Overall, the ship held nicely together. So now we have an impact, just relatively slow. And there was no impact, like expected, because in the chip are many, um, in the chip are many uh, little blocks uh, built, and this is maybe the cause of the bouncing around. But still, it's moving. Now we have again a little impact, or so maybe it's again bouncing. I can't do a thing about it. Anyway, so. Ooh, I don't know what really is going on. It should stop now. If it's not gonna glitch into the ground or so. And it's...
stopped, I think. Yes. So I'm just gonna turn the gear on or so. Yes. So now it's standing and I can go out and see what the damage is. It doesn't look that damaged, but I'm gonna look it anyway up. So here in the front we have a little bit of damage on the side of here. Also on that side. It's every time a little problem if something is like little blocks are in the chip or um, I'm just gonna show it again. On the side it's very... Uh, uh, not it's it has that uh, sides on this I'm gonna show you from the outside what I mean so if you have a ship with more flat surfaces it's ooh, sorry I'm just gonna here on the side we can see the damage model of the ship and where everywhere is a damage so there's I mean we can't see that much but here you can see maybe more it's rel relatively fast moving through but just gonna go now deeper into the ship and yes, just make, uh, going down there for all the rooms again. And I'm gonna go out, just need to close it again, please. Or not. Or not. Then I'm gonna go all the way back until I'm back at the hangar and maybe there I can go out or can go out. No, this is this room, yes. Ah, anyway, I'm just gonna continue all the way back through that room here. No, I need to go down. I just forgot that. Sorry about that. Well, I need to close also that room off. So now I'm in the hangar. In the hangar, everything looks fine for what I can see. What is going on with me, my body? Um, Insert. Of here, the little ships are still fine. I mean, it was a heat up, but it wasn't that much of the heat up. So I'm just gonna. Ooh, that is loud. That is very loud. I'm gonna fly out of here. Here in the back, we have, I think, no damage at all. No. It's on the front. And what I mean is, if you have that narrow path like this here on the ship, this is maybe also causing that bouncing around. Anyway. I hope there will be a fix for that in the future. Also, the game at the moment has a little it has changed, and I don't know what is really going on. We have here just little um, things on the side damaged. All overall, it's like uh, only the metal is a little bit deformed. Here we have lost something. Yes, one engine is lost on the front, but I mean. For a re-entry at that speed, it's really nothing. I mean, as you can see, there's just here something. Here's a little hole here. Overall, not that bad. Now I'm glitched into ship, into the ship. This is interesting. How I managed to do that? I need to go out again. I think I'm gonna. Yes. Sorry, I'm just gonna remove the glass so I can go out faster. So. Here would be a glass panel anyway. That would be... yes. Up here? Any damage? No, no damage at all. For the next episode I need to search a ship with more flat surfaces. I mean the ship here looks incredible. But somehow the game doesn't like that for crashing. So... I think I don't also don't need to really go on the mountain. I will test it. If it's just gonna bounce, I'm not gonna go and put it in the video because if it's just bouncing around, it's very annoying. Also, and if it's not bouncing, I'm going uh, going to show it to you. And if it's bouncing, I'm gonna see you in a moment in space, and I'm gonna crash the chip into my spaceport, into my old spaceport. So anyway, I'm gonna see you in a moment. On the mountain base or in space. So now I'm in space. I was on my mountain base, more mountain because there's still no base. And yes, the ship was first of all the first impact was a little bit of a damage, but then it was uh, just bouncing again. I have no idea since the game is updated. Most of the ships are sh just bouncing down the mountain and not really getting destroyed. I mean, I can't show you. I mean, I, I could show you that but it's very boring there's really nothing heavy damaged or so 
So I'm directly in space again and I'm just gonna accelerate also the ship now and crash the ship into my spaceport and I hope this is a little bit more of damage there and it isn't that boring so sorry for that I would also love to see a nice mountain crash down um, but that ship isn't very, uh, very good for that so I hope we can see a nice damage now on my mountain uh, not mountain base on my spaceport on my old one I will make a new one but this will also take time Anyway, I'm gonna see you now in a moment where I'm near that spaceport. So, now I'm near my spaceport, the impact will also be in a moment. Just take to uh, check, uh, take a little while to fly there. Just gonna go out of that, maybe we can see a, a crash better. I'm just gonna crash it in first person and then we will see what the damage is from the outside. I hope I aligned the, ch uh, the chip and the station perfect. So. We can, can see a, a better crash, so let's just take a little bit of while. Here it come, my, comes my station, we are very fast flying, I think we are, as you can see on the right side, we are very fast flying. And yes, there will be a little bit of a lag, and I hope we have no, um, the game is not crashing, so now we have the impact. Ooh, oh, I'm really... I can't see anything what is going on. There's a heavy damage. Where am I? Wow, this looks amazing. I need to turn that on again so I can stabilize. Uh, stabilize. I can't speak now. So I can't fly better. So sometimes I have the lack of force. But the crash was. Wow, uh, not, not wow, it was very nice, that is what I want to say. I think the bridge is completely gone. My station is also heavy damaged. The, the walkway here is merged into the ship, looks like. It's not damaged. No, but here on the front we have a heavy damage. So let's see what is the damage inside of my station. So here are just things flying around, the whole panel is still here intact and as you can see the damage reaches to the very end of my station even down here is a complete damage wow this is this looks nice for an impact I'm just gonna fly around so we can see all of the damage also from the ship from the inside so here down Everything looks fine on the back, there will be no damage at all. So, down here... Uh, not down here, this is just a landing pad, it's just a little bit on the side. The gear is holding on onto the station, all, all the things are merged together. Down we have here in the reactor room, many of the uh, reactors are gone. I think here are just the only left of, uh, left of, of the station. Some of them are still there, like, I think five are still here. Down on the end is here, no, here's no damage up there, it's a little bit of a damage. But the sides are looking fine, so what I can see. I'm just interested in the, just gonna take me a second to fly down here. And down here, I think we have only lost one of them. All the other ones are still here and intact. Yes. And the ship is... Yeah, is only on the front damaged. On the top, it's merged here together. But I think here on top, there's no damage. I'm just gonna fly now in the ship, so we can see what the damage is, so this is here... I mean, it's very deep in, I have to say that, because here would be somewhere the bridge, back here we are now very, very inside of the ship. A reactor room, all the reactors here are, are gone. So down here, this is from my station, back here would be everything fine, I hope so. Um, and yes, just on the front, all the things on the front are damaged. Anyway, I'm just gonna fly now out so we can see all the damage of the station and the ship. I'm just gonna fly a little bit out so we can see everything better. 
you are a little bit down. And then I will end my video. If you want to download the ship for yourself, you can do it. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Also, if um, leave a like if you want, subscribe to me or leave a comment. That will help me. And if you want to download the speed mod or the re-entry mod for yourself, you can do that. It's also in the description down below. So, I'm gonna see you in my next video. Goodbye.